What's up guys, Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to highlight something that came out on Side Effects Studios YouTube channel earlier this week. So this week they're highlighting their tech demo, Project Titan. Basically what Project Titan is, is it's basically a tool that they're using in order to hook Houdini up with Unreal Engine. And so what that does is that gives you a procedural workflow for creating things like pipes and buildings and railings and other things like that, that are kind of like smart. So they fill in like railing, um, like railing pickets and they can add different kinds of pipings and it can adjust dynamically, other things like that. So let's take a look at what we know so far. All right, so if we link back to Side Effects Studios, um, Titan, web page, you can see a lot more information about what their plan is with integration with Unreal Engine 5. So notice how right now the video we just watched is part of an in-house tech demo designed to uh, test Houdini's uh, workflows inside of Unreal Engine 5. And so they're basically prepping this so that you can use this as a production tool inside of the new version. Um, they do note that you can download um, the plugin right here. So you can download this, but you are going to have to manually build it against an Unreal Engine 5 release. Um, but there's there's a more detailed video on this page. And so this 13 minute long video talks a lot more in depth about what their goal is with Project Titan. So um, it really kind of talks through like, here's what we're trying to do with this. Here's what the plan is. Um, what I find really interesting on this one is they do talk a little bit about what they're trying to do with Titan. If you go to about a minute and 58 into the video, they list the different tools that they're using in order to create this scene. So they've built all of these inside of Houdini, but then they're linking it to Unreal Engine where you can uh, dynamic adjust these different things. So they've got tools in here for buildings and cable and fences, um, other things like that as well. So all of these are tools that they're working on as a part of Project Titan. So they're really trying to make this a tool that's going to work with Unreal Engine so that you can build these things without having to build them all separately and then import them into the engine. You can literally just adjust settings inside of uh, Unreal Engine and these changes will be made using Houdini. And so you can get a little bit um, more of an idea of their project scope watching that video. If you scroll down, they actually have videos about the individual tools that they're building. So if you click on this right here, for example, the one where they build the buildings, you can see how for this one, for example, they've built out a building tool that's basically taking a cube and then you can make adjustments and you can add different parts and pieces of the building, right? So they're adding like different air conditioning units. Um, they're adding different textures. Notice how all of these are adjusting dynamically. And basically what it's doing is it's linking back to Houdini. Um, you can kind of see the little thing that pops up that says processing outputs. So there is like a live link going on. I'm not 100% sure exactly how this is working on the back end. So you can see how using these tools, you could build very detailed levels really quickly inside of Unreal Engine using Houdini. So there's other tool sets in here as well. So they've got tools in here for like the scaffolding and construction, for example. And so again, notice how this is all procedural, right? You can set like the number, you can set the height of this, you can set the number of cells that are in here, and then it's also got different variants built into it too. So what I would be really excited to see is if Houdini re released a tool set like this where you could actually bring these in and you didn't have to actually go in and do all the nuts and bolts inside of Houdini yourself. Um, as someone who hasn't gotten too far into Houdini yet, that would be really nice. But even if you couldn't do that and you do have a lot of experience with Houdini, you can definitely see the uh, you can definitely see the possibilities of something like this. Just being able to block out something like scaffolding like this and just make these changes dynamically without having to jump back and forth between uh, programs could be a huge time saver for creating your levels inside of Unreal Engine. All right, so you can watch all of these different videos here to see um, all the different things that they're trying to do. Um, I do wanna note that down below, they're also adding a dev blogs and tutorials section. So they're gonna be updating this with discussions and tutorials where you can really kind of get into this and learn exactly how they're doing all of this with Project Titan. So they do have a tutorial already for the cable tool. So basically you build this inside of Houdini and then later on you bring it into Unreal Engine. So um, if you want to follow along and learn how to do this, this is going to be a great place for you to be able to do that. And then a little later on in lesson five, they talk you through how to actually bring this into Unreal Engine. So they've actually got a tutorial in here showing you how to um, basically import those cables and then start working with them. So um, it's really kind of a start to finish workflow for how this whole thing works. 
And so notice how a little later on they show you how to bring this into Unreal Engine and how the whole thing works. You can also download the project files from this page as well. So I, I could really see this being something that becomes a great resource. I mean, obviously they've only got the first tutorial up right now. But this is definitely something I would recommend checking back um, because there could be some really interesting things coming out of this in the future. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this development? Do you think it's going to be a good tool for Unreal Engine? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.